RCBS just announced the new Matchmaster Precision Case Trimmer in partnership with Henderson Precision. In this video, we're gonna talk about the improvements and updates for this specific trimmer. We're gonna get it mounted. Of course, we're gonna trim some brass and we'll perform some tests. Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. That's right, the new RCBS Matchmaster Precision Case Trimmer is here. A couple of the notable new features are upgraded motor. We've got a micrometer depth stop, which is really cool. So if we wanna take a couple thousandths off our length, boom, done. And we also have this guard here, which is gonna prevent us from getting cut by that spinning cutter. And it's also gonna collect brass shavings. Uh, so we've also got green, of course, because this is an RCBS product. And then the mounting plate is another thing that's uh, a little bit different and, and new. So we have places for our pilots here. We have a whole set of pilots that's gonna go from 22 caliber up to 30 caliber. And uh, I think there's multiple options here. We could screw this to the bench. We could put it on an RCBS universal uh, mounting plate. I checked the holes aligned for that. I think I'm just gonna clamp it here to the corner of the bench and see how that works. Shouldn't need anything special here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with assembly. All right, everything is put together. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Very cool. It's actually pretty quiet and I like the way this thing runs. I decided not to clamp it to the bench because I just didn't like how that looked. So I got one of my Ultimate Reloader bench mounting plates and we screwed the mounting plate down to that. That seems like a, a really good solution. So the assembly is actually really straightforward. It should only take you about 15 minutes to put this together. It uses just all the basic tools that you have laying around. I mean, you are a reloader after all, right? You've got basic tools. <laughs> so with it together and with it running, I'm gonna go ahead and pick something to trim and we'll make some shavings. Okay, so we are ready to trim some brass. We had the 22 caliber pilot installed on the trimmer. I'm removing the guard here just for clarity. Uh, you have to be extremely careful around the cutter when it's, when it's moving, but I wanted to show you exactly what happens as we're getting things dialed in here. I've already sized the brass on the Rock Chucker Supreme, which is important. You need to size before you trim because when you size, you're gonna flow the brass and you're gonna lengthen the brass in, in the neck area. So what I've done here is I've inserted a piece of brass. This is Lapua Once Fire 223 brass that we sized on the Rock Chucker. And what I'm doing is I'm applying backward pressure into the collet so that I can feel it seat perfectly uniform. We don't wanna have the brass angled at all because that's going to give us inconsistent length. And if we don't have it fully seated, that will also give us inconsistent length. So if we turn on the machine, we're not quite trimming here. And what I'm gonna do is incrementally just turn in the micrometer until we start trimming. So I'm going about five at a time until we start cutting. There we go. We're just starting to hit now. Let's go about another five. And just so that I can ensure that we have Consistent trimming on all of these. I'm gonna go a few more. Okay, so that is looking absolutely beautiful. And so we'll go ahead and call that good and go ahead and trim 10 of those. Now, I'm gonna take that first one out of circulation here because that was an incremental trim and I want for this to be completely consistent for the test. Thank you. 
Okay, so what I'll do next is do a quick inspection to make sure we have uniform trimming and then we're gonna take some measurements. Yep, that looks really good. Okay, I'm using some high quality Mid-Italio digital calipers here and I've got my spreadsheet ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these measurements. All right, the numbers are in and they don't lie. This machine trims some consistent brass. The standard deviation on our length, in other words, the statistically meaningful variation was a half of a thousandth of an inch, five ten thousandths of an inch. And the extreme spread, the total variation was two thousandths of an inch or plus or minus one thousandth of an inch. That is amazing. All right, time to switch over to 308. I've got some Lapua once fired brass here that I've already lubed. And uh, I'm just gonna do a super simple sizer die setup. We'll just set this on the shell plate. The key thing here is that we're sizing the brass. If I was setting this up for real, I would definitely be looking at uh, my shoulder bump and that kind of thing. But uh, we should now be ready to go ahead and size all the brass for this test. Okay, so the brass is all sized. I cleaned off the lube. Now we're ready to switch the trimmer over to 30 cal from 22 cal and also get our length set up for the trim. So I'm gonna get started on that. Just know that there's complete instructions uh, to guide you through the process step-by-step step that come with the trimmer. So we are set up and a couple quick pointers on this is, I have found the most effective way to move the carbide cutter blades side to side is to pull them out and then gently push them in to where you need them to be and then torque the screw down. There's not a whole lot to hold on to there. And so if you do that and you basically use the protrusion of the carbide cutter from the body of the cutter head as a guide to your depth, uh, it's gonna work really good. Make sure that you push forward on them to make so that they're seated against the channel and that means that they're going to square up perfectly. So with a bit of practice and a lot of patience, you're going to be able to get the perfect trim to length. Make sure as you inspect it, I was using a loop here, that you have a flat surface and that you also have the appropriate amount of inside and outside chamfer that you want. It takes a little bit of time, but if you do want to take those settings and preserve them for later use, you can always get a separate cutter head. There's a draw bar here right on the back and you can easily pop these out and keep cartridge specific or caliber specific cutter heads set up. But it doesn't take more than about five minutes once you get the technique done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim our sized brass here. So we've trimmed our 10, go ahead and take some digital caliper 
measurements here and put them into our spreadsheet. 2.0025. All right, so we had similarly good results this time. For the 10 cases, we had a standard deviation of one ten thousandth of an inch and an extreme spread of three thousandths of an inch. A Little bit more variation this time, and that might've been the fact that we had much more cut that we were performing each time. Well, at the end of the day, we've had a great experience with the Matchmaster Precision Case Trimmer, just like we have with the Henderson Trimmer. I really like some of the things that RCBS did here, with the micrometer depth stop, the chip collection, their mount with integrated pilot storage. It's a really nice package. And if you're looking for a precision case trimmer, say you're a PRS shooter or a bench rest shooter or someone that really needs a really consistent three-way cut on your brass, I would definitely take a look at this unit at your favorite local retailer or online. Did I not answer any questions that you had? Please drop a comment and I'll join you down there in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching Ultimate Reloader on TV and wanna take advantage of free resources, exclusives, and hot deals, just hold your camera phone up to the QR code, tap on the link, fill out the information, boom, you're getting Ultimate Reloader emails. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram, make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. Thanks again for watching.